Alright, welcome back. Starting a new recording session. Uh, continuing where we left off here in the Undercity, where um, we are looking for... Um, uh, we're looking for Mission Veo to help us get into the Volker base, I believe. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, that's what we're doing. So, I'm going to look for evidence, talk to the leader of the village. We're going to start off over here. Let's just start exploring the village here. Oh, getting stuck on stuff. Talk to you. Wait, Upwelder! You can't go through this gate! There is too much danger and suffering beyond! For your own sake, turn back! Danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rock ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rock ghouls and attack them at any moment. So you'll just leave the infected ones to die? You're a coward! I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. I'm going through those gates to try and help the infected ones. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upwelder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rock ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, go ahead and save real quick. Um, this is the first time we're going to see uh, a rat ghoul. Open the gate. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! Yep, yeah, I didn't make it. Ready. We're gonna keep Karth on this side of the gate, cause see, look, they can't cross. But apparently, I can't attack. Hold on, we're gonna put on a med pack real quick. Ah, how'd you like that? Oof. The green health bar over here means we're poisoned, which means we uh, take. Let's use an advancement pack, uh, which means we take damage over time and we have reduced stats. So we go to our player menu here and see all of our stats are reduced uh, quite heavily, actually, uh, due to poison. Yeah, I thought that might happen. All right, well, our first death. This time we're gonna. We're gonna do things a little... Actually, hold on. Back again? Is there something else? Uh, I need healing. I was gonna say, she heals you. So, anyway. Now we'll do this. Please, help us! No! This cannot be... No! Alright, let's do this the smart way, with full health this time. So here we go. Ah! <laughs> Poison. How'd you like that? I don't think I have any uh, antidote kits. Did I go down again? Ready, time to Come on, Karth. You got this. Boom, there you go. Oh. Yes? Oh, I'm leveled up. Cool. Let's see. We get Ooh, we get a skill and a feat. Okay, so skills. Same thing. Now we should be able to recover some mines. So now we can take 
improved two weapon fighting. Oops, add feet. Okay, and then accept. Okay, so now let's actually try to put on a long sword. Photo chime. Okay, we're at zero plus two. That's not so bad. We shouldn't be missing nearly as bad as we were. Uh, it says we have a new quest. Doesn't look any different. Close. All right. Well, now we're whoops. Now we're fully healed because we leveled up. So we'll go ahead and get healing again real quick from the healer. Back again. Boom. There you go. That didn't take care of Karth's poison? What? Huh. Yeah, I don't have any antidote kits. So I guess I'll just have to wait for it to time out. Sure. It is what it is. Okay. Please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. You you will help us? Bless you, Upworlder. But you must hurry. We have the Rack Ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. And soon it will be too late for us and... We will transform into these horrible rackles ourselves. Don't worry. I'll be back when I find a cure for you. Please hurry, Upworlder. We don't have much time until the transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure us of this disease, please come back and help us. Target the gate. There we go. Got over here. So let's talk to Gendar, the leader of the village. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. What a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rue Kill. Rue Kill? The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. Uh, tell me about the rat ghouls that live down here. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Uh, how can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. 
I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. You said something about other Upworlders who came by here recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I think I'll be going now. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Here's Rukil. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you. Uh, okay then. Could I ask you some questions? A question? You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life... I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm John Shepard. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone, too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. So now we have a new side quest. It seems... awfully dangerous to send somebody out into the Undercity. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. I'm not sure what, what credits would really do them down here. Who do they buy from? If he's the only store. Oh well. Plot hole. I want to ask you some questions. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. 
Why doesn't Gendar like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? That's why Gendar's mad at you? There has to be more to it than that. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Uh, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Uh, creeper. Alright, so he's got a Chani battle armor. Not upgradable, not worth buying. Bobber blade, sun baton, the usual stuff. Our canyon heavy pistol, also not worth buying. Uh, retinal combat implant, plus one to... Um, Plus one to awareness and immunity to critical hits. Um, it's not bad. I'm gonna buy the scope though, because it's an upgrade part, and they're kind of hard to come by later on. Uh, and I'll buy the card. Buy that card. And I think, yeah, five five hundred sixty-two is just too high for me. It's not really worth it. Let's see what I have that I can. I don't need clothes. And I'm gonna hold on to those. I'm gonna sell these shock sticks. Uh, blaster pistols. Blaster rifles. Keep my grenades. Okay, I think I'm good for now. I'm going to keep those combat armors just in case. They're worth more. They're worth more as only keep holding on to them for a little longer than they are for selling them for 10 credits. So, we're going to go ahead and start heading out of the village then. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it! He's doomed! <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village! He will make it! Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rackles are so near! Open the gate! I will kill the rat ghouls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Here! Come on. Gah! Uh, how'd you like that? Gah! Uh. You asked for this! There we go. Hit. There we go. There we go, med pack. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Who are you? I'm Trewin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates, 
and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Goodbye. Goodbye, Upworlder. What? Okay. Goofy gate. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Uh, take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Wait here. I'll be back when I find Zalbar. No way. I'm the one that got Zalbar into this mess, so I'm coming with you. I'm not going to abandon him again. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the, Zul uh, the Volker base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. Do 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 do. Ta da! Bam. Uh huh. Yeah? Alright, so she starts out at level 3. And she's a scoundrel. So she. Okay, attributes. Hello, I'm dexterity, of course. Okay, skills. Um. Recommended. Repairs costs. Okay, I see what's going on. And she has one point remaining. You can have points that carry over if you don't have a use for them. So, yeah, I know. I have unspent points. Okay, that's fine. Except. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what, what feats... Here we go. Let's see what she does have. She's got armor proficiency light. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Uh, oh, scoundrel's luck. Oh, they have the plus two to defense at all times. Oh, well. That's fine. Um, but they have sneak attack. And the way sneak attack works is adds 2 through 12, which is basically uh, two six-sided dice, uh, points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target, attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets, and any attacks made while in stealth mode. Combat cancels stealth mode, but the first attack receives a bonus. So that's how that works. And of course she can use melee, blaster rifles, and blaster pistols. Oh, and she has dueling level 1. So this is that she gains plus 1 to attack and one, plus 1 to defense due to the efficiency of this form. So we're just, she comes with her own blaster, so we're gonna, we're gonna let her have that blaster, and I guess we can give her a spare energy shield. Uh, let's go over to me, and we'll see if, uh, her vibroblade, hmm. We're, hold on, we're gonna hit none. We're gonna put the prototype in my hand, 
and hers. Yeah, because it's got... 312 is a little bit better than 213, and the reason why I say that is because all, your, your bottom base is, is higher, so you're always likely to do a little bit more damage. Plus, it's upgradable, so when we get back to our... Uh, when we get back to our base next, we'll be able to put in that vibration cell and make it even better than the long sword. And we won't need to carry around that long sword anymore. It only sells for like two credits, so it's probably not worth it anyway. So now we have another ranged character. Oh, Sith Patrol. You there, civilian? This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I like that red armor. It's pretty sexy. Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. You said you lost one patrol already? Well, was that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Why don't you just give up the search? Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court-martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out! Not a whole lot of help there. Some rat ghouls over here. Let's give them a little frag grenade surprise to start off. Oh, they spread apart. Well, I got one. Take that! How'd you like that? Sith soldier. Antidote kit, beam splitter, that's an upgrade item for uh, guns, heavy combat suit, blaster rifle, rat ghoul serum. Boom, that's what's important. Oh, hold on. Um, equip. What? Maybe I hit the wrong button. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Um, Heavy combat suit. It's not better than what I'm wearing, but it's it's light armor. So mission can wear. Hold on. I think Karth would look better in a heavy combat suit.